the crazy crooked owls versus the sin city syndicwills in round number six of the metronome madness league welcome back everyone i hope you're ready for an exciting match we have the galarian articuno out for the crooked owls and the syndicwills have their reggie lecky out to start the match and they're gonna attack with a toxic that's one way to start the syndicwills have been having a very tough time this season they have not won a match at all but neither have the crooked owls that means that's gonna break the <laughs> losing streak for one of these teams there goes a draco meteor against the reggie lecky does a lot of damage reggie lecky all the way down to about a quarter or a fifth of its hp that was huge oh my goodness but as i was saying yes one of these teams will get a win <laughs> after this match since they both have uh have not won a match at all however the downside is one team will be oh in six we're not halfway through the season so it's not over for them yet but they've got to figure something out there goes the quiver dance coming from the articuno articuno's gonna raise his uh, attack special uh, special attack special defense and its speed after that quiver dance We'll see how much that helps it. The Toxic gonna take out the Articuno soon, so they might wanna act quickly and use some more big moves. There goes the play rough. That puts Articuno below half its health. There it goes. Articuno goes for a yawn. Okay, so I think the strategy here with the Crocodiles is to set up for the rest of the team. The yawn will put Regilecki to sleep, of course um and then the next pokemon will be able to handle it however i don't know if that's the greatest idea because resilecki is already at pretty low health you could just take it out there goes the shift gear for resilecki shift gear raising its speed and its attack so it will move first in the next turn probably it moves first already there goes the work up articuno wasting his turns work up it's going to be pointless when you faint poison so a work up raising its stats, but that's just not going to do anything. Articuno hurt by the Toxic, and it's done. Should have attacked one of those last two terms, but it just didn't. Bad idea, but the Regilecki is sleep, and it does give the Crocodile's Genesect a chance to take it out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Metro Madness League. Leave a like if you're enjoying this match. And of course, I'd like to give a special thanks to my patrons for supporting the channel. Thank you very much. Here we go. The Genesect is, Genesect is out on the field. And Reggie Lecky can't attack because it's sleep. We'll see what Genesect chooses to do. It's going to go for a Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam from the Genesect does a lot of damage. Reggie Lecky goes down. One and done. The Genesect in a pretty good position. And it's about even between these two teams. Heatran comes out onto the field for the Cyndaquils. Floating in the air with his air balloon. No ground type moves can hit it at the moment. Here comes Genesect now. He goes for a magical leap. That's not very effective. Doesn't do a lot against the Heatran, but does get rid of the air balloon. Heatran now gets to go for a slam. Slam is gonna land. And not very effective, of course, against the Steel-type Genesect. So they really haven't done a lot of damage to each other. Got to get past the defensiveness of these two Pokemon. There goes the Sweet Scent. And Genesect trying to make sure it can land its moves, lowering that evasiveness of the Heatran. And there we go, Heatran going for the Magnet Ride. It really does not want to get hit by Ground-type moves. I don't blame it. Ground type a ground type move would be devastating for the Heatran. So it is now levitating after his air balloon has popped, and now the Genesect goes for a Dream Eater. Ooh, if only you had done that uh, against uh, the Pokemon that was sleep, the Red Lecky. But there goes a self destruct. Oh my gosh, that's not very effective on Genesect. So that's just a waste. The Heatran takes itself out. You gotta wonder what what the Cyndaquils were thinking there. The Heatran goes down without doing any damage, and now Jirachi's on the field, left to fend for itself against two Pokemon. 
Jirachi does get to go first here. Goes for its own Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor, though, I'm not sure going to do a lot. It does a decent amount, though, even though not very effective. Genesect in the yellow now. But Jirachi's special attack takes a hit there. See, I'm not sure that's the best move to use, especially when you have to fight two Pokemon. There goes the string shot. Genesect slowing the Jirachi down. And Jirachi loses a lot of speed. Here we go. Genesect gets to go first. After the string shot, and it goes for a wish. So Genesect is going to get some health back. That puts some pressure on that Jirachi. He's got to get rid of Genesect as soon as possible before it heals. There goes a Mega Horn. Mega Horn hits. It does a decent amount of damage. Genesect is in the red. And that's exactly what they were looking to do. Genesect gets the attack again. This time goes for a Rock Wrecker. That could hurt. It's not very effective against the Jirachi, but still a strong move. Doesn't get it to the yellow, though. Jirachi takes that hit, and now it goes for its own attack. This time it goes for a conversion. Not the smartest move. Should have just hit it. Should have attacked the Genesect. I'm pretty sure it's going to get this wish now. It does. Genesect could have been knocked out, but Jirachi wastes that turn with the conversion. And conversion is actually bad as it goes to a normal type. It was a steel type with a lot of defenses. And now it's just normal. There goes the Scorching Sands. Doesn't do a lot of damage. However, it does burn. Genesect uh, losing some attack power with that burn. As well as taking damage here. Could have been knocked out already. That was, that was a lost opportunity for that Jirachi. There goes the Genesect now. This time it goes for a Magic Room. That's going to uh, make all held items lose their effects. Let's see if that works out. The Sheer Cold. Oh, that could have helped him. Sheer Cold does not land, though. Genesect hurt by the burn. There goes the Genesect now. It gets to attack first. It goes for sure up <laughs> on oh, Genesect healing again. Cyndaquils are not happy with this. Genesect says, forget the burn. I'm just going to keep healing myself. Jirachi gets to go for an attack now. Here comes that Jirachi. It uses self the second Pokemon on the Cyndaquils to use self-destruct. Why would they do it? And against the Genesect again, Genesect survives its second self-destruct. While the Cyndaquils pretty much just gave that battle up. I don't know why, but they, they've given it up and they are now 0-6. Still, with no wins on the season, the Crocodiles finally get one win. And that is where we stand for now. Thank you very much for watching the Metronome Madness League. Subscribe if you like for... What am I saying? I don't even know. Subscribe to the channel for <laughs> more Metronome Madness League. Of course, leave a like on the video. And as always, I will catch you next time.